Ooh, that coffee's so strong, it's like a slap in the face. Today's story is Kiss slash Gene Simmons. Back in 1996, I was working for RCA, and there was a band called The Verve Pipe. I uh, fell in love with those guys, Brian Van Der Ark, A.J. Dunning. A.J. is one of the best guitar players i ever met. They had a hit with a photograph, then had a huge hit with a song called The Freshman. So they won an opening slot for Kiss. It was a big deal. And one of the shows was in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I called David Snowden. David used to manage Kiss's web uh, fan club and Ace of Peter's fan club. So David flew in. He was excited about it. And he arranged for him and I to meet Ace and Peter. So we go backstage, and it was really weird because even though it's one band, Ace and Peter were managed by George Suet, and Paul and Gene were managed by Doc McGee. So it was like really weird backstage and everything. But we did the meet and greet, got my picture, and I went to leave. And again, I was jumpy. I admit it. I turned, and Gene had those boots on, so he's like, Gene's like seven feet tall. I walked and smashed my face right into his chest. And I'm talking, my face was against his chest hairs. And I was just like scared. And he looked down at me like, what the hell's wrong with you? And I looked up and I'm telling you, it's a wonder I didn't shit my pants because I was so scared. He looked like Satan himself. I mean, I was, David said today, you jump behind me, Scotty. <laughs> like I was going to protect you. And of course, Gene's standing there like, what the hell's going on? I got to tell you, Gene Simmons, you are a scary character. I will never forget it. You guys have a good one. I'll see you real soon.